what do I want to do? So first of all, I have an amplifier. I set it up so it has a gain of 9, and this is the output. And then I have this uh, source here with the AC signal, right? So I'm doing AC analysis. And now at this moment, I have the capacitor C1 connected to the ground. This is C1. How do I move this guy? Anyway, right? I'll say again, F7. See, I learned so much from you all. F7, click on it and move it. This can be another teaching video. Okay, good. Okay, now I have the capacitor here. So it basically has no effect. Look at this, because I connect this to ground, right? So the voltage directly applied to here. Okay, so let me run it. And then I will try to plot the uh, input pole. Why well, there are two? Okay, yeah, I have the face and also the uh, dB on the left, right? So what is the pole? It's about 10 megahertz, okay? Not exactly, right? Just about, just memorize it, right? Because I don't have this, I only have a 10 nano ferrer capacitor. And with this resistor, one over, RC give me 10 megahertz. Okay. Now, now instead of connecting this guy to here, uh, do you have a shortcut for the cut? F8? Uh, just delete it. Also, okay. Yes. <laughs> And then I F3 start a new wire. Okay. Do you see what I'm doing here, right? The real capacitor is still 10 nano Henry, uh, 10, 10 nano Faraday, uh, Faraday, <laughs> Farad, right? But if I now run the simulation, did I do something wrong? Uh, oh, no number change. I also remind myself because now I need to probe here again because I re reorder the circuit. As a result, it changed the no number. So, yeah. so now you look at the here. It's about one megahertz, right? Because the gain is negative nine. One minus negative nine is ten. So the Mueller capacitor is 10 times larger. As a result, you see the frequency go from 10 megahertz to 1 megahertz, right? The real capacitance is still 10 nanofarad. okay? So that's why what I want to show you can play with this later, okay? Any questions?